So yeah, today let's talk about uh, code and the Hacky Hour in Gießen. Um, first of all, uh, my name is Florian Elsesser. Um, uh, I work in the crop project at JLU Gießen. And um, so basically what I'm working on is the impacts of weather on crops. And um, for example, of extreme events like droughts and heat waves and how they impact our crop yields. Um, but let's start about uh, the code and about the Hacky Hour in Gießen. Uh, so first of all, I wanted to start uh, that do a little introduction about the situations in which you would wish to have a hacky hour. Um, and I think these are situations that are, um, I think everybody will encounter them in their, uh, in their scientific life. So the first situation I want to present is basically this. Uh, uh, you're working on a, on a very complex problem and you wondered if there was a good tool that could just make your life a little bit easier in that situation. And I had these situations uh, basically, I have these situations every month, every every week, where I'm just looking for the right tool to do something. And uh, I usually I usually tell the story um, of my master thesis. It is a long time ago, very long time ago. But um, I was taking pictures with a drone um, from um, agricultural landscapes. And um, after I, I after I took the pictures, I was really proud. I had so many pictures taken of of agricultural landscapes. But then came the actual really difficult task. I had to assemble these pictures and create a big map. And nobody really taught me how to do that. And I was looking for, for a good tool to do that. And uh, luckily, I had some friends who um, were directing me to, to use an automosaic software that would just do that basically automatically. So I, I saved lots of time to assemble, um, to assemble these single pictures uh, to a big map. And uh, I think everybody knows these examples. Everybody is aware of like, uh, it's just software or regular tools or workflows that uh, that could make your life easier in science. Um, and I think the Hacky Hour is a great place to share these tools and also to learn about tools and just to go there and ask people. Maybe maybe you just find somebody who has the right answer for you. And um, the um, the second uh, the second situation that you might encounter where you just desperately need a Hacky Hour. Um, that would be you, you yourself discovered a great workflow to make your science life easier and you want to share it with other people. Um, I think yeah, working in science, you, you will you will definitely see how to improve your your own workflows and, and how to um, how to connect your, your different ideas. And uh, at some point uh, you have the perfect workflow for your task. You might think your task is very unique and you're the only one like really looking for the solution. But uh, what I discovered is that many, many other people are looking also for, for similar solutions. And many other people are working on similar problems and you might be able to help out other people. And um, this is a really nice, uh, this is a really nice task. And this is a really nice uh, uh, situation that you're just there and uh, you kind of might help, might be able to help other people with their science problems. And uh, I also wanted to add a third uh, situation and I think this is also really common. Imagine you're at lunch break with your colleagues and you have this one colleague who just really knows uh, like how, how to do these, uh, how to do, you know, different things in science. And he's just, or she's just faster with the things and uh, just, um, they might just have the better ideas. And you wonder where did they get these ideas from? And this is exactly where you would also need a hacky hour um, in these, um, in the Hacky Hour, you can just share your ideas and uh, you also learn a lot of new things. And um, you can basically find some shortcuts uh, that will really help you in data analysis and uh, coding and uh, using different hardware. So um, that's basically it. whatever topic you're working on, um, you might really be interested in joining the monthly Hacky Hour at uh, Justus Liebig University Gießen. So what does the regular hacky hour look like? Usually it's a, it's a regular meeting that happens every two weeks or every four weeks. And um, in these hacky hours, everybody's welcome. So you don't need to be a specialist in something. You can just you know go there um, and just see who's there. And uh, it's basically a really open meeting for everybody. Um, you will also definitely find people who are really specialists in a certain topic, uh, but this is really nice because the atmosphere is usually um, in a way, a way that uh, people help each other and uh, everybody was a beginner at some point. And um, um, so, yeah, why not just why not just help each other? So you don't need any special expertise to to enter that. It's not a closed club. You just you just go there and uh, it's basically a social meeting to talk about code tools and science. 
Uh, on the picture below, you can for, uh, you can already see, I think this was the first meeting of the Hacky Hour in Gießen. And uh, this is a rather small crowd, I would say, usually there's more people. And um, so you basically, you can bring your laptop if you want, but uh, many people just bring a notebook, like a, a regular paper notebook. You just sit there, um, there's usually a presentation. And uh, um, then afterwards, you can discuss. You can also discuss about the topic that you want to discuss. Uh, suppose you're you're working on a uh, on a really difficult science problem, and you you just don't you just didn't really advance the last weeks. That might be um, that might be a great situation to just explain it to everybody and um, and uh, just try to get some new inputs and some new insights. Um, so uh, there's also the idea is also to to offer in uh, in the in the future like uh, some hands-on sessions where you can learn and apply new techniques and tools. Um, we had this in the past already a little bit, like when we, when we were showing, for example, the the Jupyter notebooks, where you could just click along basically um, of the of the of the course material and um, just to to learn new techniques and just to also try out new tools basically. And um, finally, it's also a nice place to find other people who are working on, on code, tools, and science, basically. Um, and uh, maybe you can, you can just uh, find, uh, find some people for your, uh, for your science project or just for a funny project that you ever always, um, always wanted to try. Um, so I tried to also create a slide here on the history of the Hacky Hour. However, it was kind of difficult to find uh, like, uh, validated information on this. So I call this the history of, of the hacky hour that is most likely true, like the head um, uh, So the information I have here is based on different uh, GitHub uh, uh, pages um, that I found. So the first hacky hour developed in New Zealand, and it was evolved uh, from uh, different R meetings. Uh, R is a programming language um, that is mostly used for statistics and data science, but you can do much more of much more things with it. And um, the idea back then was to basically open it to more scientific topics and to, to our people who probably worked with other programming languages like Python or C. And then uh, this evolved uh, in Australia, uh, where we have, I think, most, it's, it's the content with most hacky hours at the moment. Um, so uh, and the, uh, in Australia, the concept of the hacky hour as we know it today, or as we know it here in Gießen, um, was more or less developed. On the left side, you can see all the universities, all the all the logos of the hacky hours that, uh, that have a hacky hour there. Um, the first hacky hour in Germany was then uh, kind of founded in in Würzburg in 2015, and uh, from there it took a little while, um, I think seven years, until we also started the hacky hour in Gießen. But uh, Germany has uh, quite a quite a dense distribution of hacky hours too, I would say, these days. Um, so what does the Hacky Hour in Gießen actually look like? Um, it's a monthly open meeting. So um, uh, every month there's one meeting. Sometimes there's a semester break or so, if we don't expect too many people. Um, the Hacky Hour in Gießen is meant to be for, uh, for beginners and already advanced people. So uh, if you feel like you're already a professional, then please come because uh, you can share your knowledge and you can also learn many things. So. And if you're a beginner, then please come because uh, it, it will be really nice. You will learn so many things. Um, then I remember I, I, I joined my first hacky hour in uh, University of Göttingen, and I um, I really didn't know so much about computers, programming, and any, or anything back then. Um, but uh, frequently going to the hacky hour meetings just widened my horizon on, on which software I wanted to use, which 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 things, which tools I wanted to try in science. And um, so even though you you learn something and you don't really know why you would use it. Um, at some point, this will come back to you, and at some point, you will just see like I learned this in the hacky hour, like maybe one year ago, maybe two years ago, and I can use it now. And uh, this is a fantastic setup. So, um, yeah, the hacky hour in Gießen is not much different to all the other hacky hours. We talk about code, tools, and science, and uh, it's a very social meeting. So you can also get, there's also like an alcohol-free bar. You can get some drinks. And um, it's a very social environment where people chat. And uh, the good thing is, it also happens in the maker space uh, in Gießen. That means uh, if you if you're really eager to um, to build a project or something like that, you would also have the tools at hand to just start. Um, usually, uh, in the hacky hour, we try to have one rather beginner topic and one more advanced topic. 
at the presentation. But uh, what I realize is that there's many spontaneous topics that just pop up because people are there and people want to talk about what, what, they, what they're currently thinking about or what they're currently working on. And maybe they need input or maybe they also want to share some nice workflow. And uh, this is basically how the, how the, how the Hacky Hour works. So there's, um, there's no uh, formal, uh, like formal uh, manifesto or, what, uh, or like a rules for what the Hacky Hour should include or what, what, should, what should not include. The Hacky Hour is basically made by the people who are there in the meeting. Um, so what are the typical topics? The topics so far um, were, for example, um, really create uh, print-ready uh, scientific figures and posters with Inkscape. That was really interesting. Um, then there was uh, one Hacky Hour on Jupyter Notebooks. Um, another on semantic media wikis and Pandoc, and uh, the next one is going to be about uh, licenses, data licenses, which, which is very relevant, and data scraping. But of course, there's many other ideas and tools and, uh, um, that, that are kind of off the record a little bit. So I think I remember we talked about lots of things, uh, and uh, somebody just even got their their um, robot out and uh, tried it out, uh, like uh, uh, like kind of uh, maneuvering their robot around the room and it was, it was really interesting so far. So um, if I could convince you to join the Hacky Hour in Gießen, um, I would be really happy. Our uh, next meeting uh, is the, uh, um, basically next Wednesday, 26, uh, at 5 o'clock in the Magie Maker space at Weiterstraße 57. And I would, love to, uh, I, would, I would love to see you there. Thanks a lot. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Also ich glaube, die Hacky Hour lebt ja vom Austausch. Und es ist halt extrem wichtig, dass nicht nur Naturwissenschaftlerinnen da sind, sondern dass es eben auch Menschen aus allen verschiedenen Bereichen der Uni äh, de, äh, quasi dort zusammenkommen und man eben auch Ideen teilen kann. Und äh, ich glaube, es ist sogar sehr, sehr spannend, eben gerade Menschen aus, ähm, aus den Sozialwissenschaften dort zu haben oder aus verschiedenen Bereichen, auf die man jetzt direkt nicht kommt. Aber also wenn man, wenn man jetzt über IT oder... oder ähm, über, die, über diese typischen hacky our themen redet, aber gerade darüber, also gerade das macht es eben sehr interessant. Also auf jeden Fall, das sind alle, alle ähm, sag mal, die an der Uni arbeiten, willkommen und ähm, genau. Also nein, auf keinen Fall. Ich glaube, man muss halt irgendwann anfangen, wenn man, wenn man sich, wenn man sich in, die, in, die, in die Thematik tiefer einarbeiten will, bei der Programmiersprache vielleicht zu lernen, aber sehr, sehr viele Sachen, also jetzt gerade für Inkscape oder so, da braucht man eigentlich gar keine, gar keine also für die, meisten, für die meisten Tools braucht man gar keine komplexe Programmiersprache. Ähm, ähm, nö, ich, also eigentlich braucht man gar keine Vorkenntnisse. Ich glaube, ein Interesse ist ganz wichtig, dass man sich einfach dafür interessiert, was Neues zu lernen vielleicht und was, was man, vielleicht, das wollte ich auch noch, äh, das wollte ich eben vorhin auch erklären, was man vielleicht im Moment gar nicht so richtig verwenden kann. Weil man denkt sich, warum habe ich mir jetzt das angeguckt? Also was, 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 was wie, wie verändert das mein Leben? Aber ähm, sehr oft sind es genau diese, äh, diese Vorkenntnisse. Da hat man mal kurz in ein Programm reingeguckt, man weiß mal ganz kurz, wie, wie eigentlich, also wie zum Beispiel, ja, wie, wie man zum Beispiel eine Datenanalyse durchführen kann oder was in der Art. Und ähm, das wird einem aber später wieder einfallen, nämlich genau, wenn man das braucht. Und dann hat man schon mal eine ganz gute Anleitung und weiß im Prinzip auch, wen aus der Hacky Hour man dann direkt anhauen kann. Ja, wie ging denn das nochmal? Und ähm, genau, also es geht vor allem darum, sich auch ein bisschen zu vernetzen. Es geht darum, neue Sachen kennenzulernen. Und wie gesagt, deswegen sind eben alle, äh, äh, alle Menschen, äh, die, die sich ein bisschen mit Wissenschaft beschäftigen, da sehr, sehr willkommen. Uh, we thought about making it online, actually, um, or hybrid. <laughs> I think so far it wasn't streamed yet. Um, uh, I think it, it will be uh, it will it will be debatable uh, debatable if the um, if the person who actually does the presentation is uh, is okay with uh, being streamed. Um, yeah, well, we debated about it. <laughs> so far, I think there was no final conclusion um, that might be possible. Um, but actually, there's a there's a really nice wiki that is going to be created, like with a summary of the um, of the different topics. And even though you miss one of the um, one of the hacky hours, you can just check it online, and uh, you can just later uh, see what, what what we talked about and what are the relevant links that you might be interested in, and uh, and just kind of um, have this logbook of hacky hours in the end. <laughs> 